All right, so super excited to have this unboxing today. All right, so let me see. Let me just turn excited. off my, just wanna make sure my mic was working. I have some boxes to unbox today. As you guys can see, I have this stack as well as this stack here. And this was kind of a, um, impromptu unboxing. So i um, not sure how many people are going to be coming by, but everyone can always catch this on the rewind. And so I want to welcome everybody to another episode of Comics with Bonix. I'm so excited to do this unboxing today because a lot of it, I am, um, I'm aware of what's in these boxes, but some of them I'm not aware. So um, it's going to be kind of like a mystery box. So we're, we're going to see what's in the boxes. Um, gonna um, gonna go and say hi to the chat. So looks like Lou, you were the first one here. Uh, thanks. I'm definitely excited as well. Thanks for coming by. Um, you said that this is either the first or second time you were watching live. So I really appreciate you coming by, Lou. Um, and you're gonna be seeing my first reaction to the the art and the books. So that's gonna be super exciting. And thank you for confirming that it is working. So the sound is working, everything's working. So awesome. Um, we also have my daughter. She's also watching the live stream as well. Um, uh, that's probably Mila, we'll see. So um, hello, Mila or Macy, either. And yep, super excited. Thank you, Lou. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, people are probably gonna start trickling in as we open these. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one, Lou, since you're the first one here, um, I'm gonna be unboxing your package first. This is yours. This one just came in. Um, as you can see, Lou is such a creative uh, packager. He has the Batman stickers, which is so awesome. And then he also has the Spider-Man um stickers as well love those my wife was like oh man you need to open these as soon as possible so um she is uh i don't know she might be team lou i, I don't know how i feel about that <laughs> so let's go ahead and open these up sorry guys this is gonna be um the non-edited version i usually do unboxings i usually do unboxing um with edits so this is going to be live and raw no edits so you're going to see my reaction as it comes out which i think is pretty cool with that's what's cool about live streams is you guys get to see <laughs> and i hope i don't hurt myself with opening these but yep there we go so let's go ahead and pull this out and i have so this is from um, one of my friends on I on Instagram. I put his link in the description. His name is um, his name is Lou. His IG is Lou underscore Tom underscore Tram, and I put his Instagram information in the description. Um, he does some amazing art, and these are some of his pieces that he. Um, oh my gosh! I already saw the first one. These are some of the amazing pieces that he did for me. So let's go ahead and show. Is that the back? Yeah, that's the back. So let's go ahead and show. Oh, man. These are amazing. So you guys probably saw a glimpse of. I'm going to take these clips off. You guys probably saw a glimpse of what this is. So one of them is for me. And he mentioned that he since. Um, let me go ahead and take these out. I'm going to take it out of the plastic since I think I want to be able to show them outside of the plastic so they can really admire what, what um, these pieces of art look like. So the first one I'm going to show, he did this one as a A-OK. -okay. He did this one as an act of kindness for my wife. And this is a sketch of Wonder Woman. So look at that. That looks com that looks amazing. So again, this is my buddy Lou from Instagram. He did a sketch for free. Oh man, act of kindness for my wife because she is uh, she's such a fan of his art and he she and he went ahead and made this for 
her and he signed it on the bottom and this he said it's after um another artist i can't um lou you might have to put in the chat who the artist is that originally you um you were inspired to draw this after but look at that that looks completely that looks insane that looks so good um she's gonna love that lou thank you so much for that so that's the first one that lou gifted my wife that was awesome thank you so much for that lou so let's go ahead and uh, say hi to some of the people in the chat uh looks like daniel's here hello daniel thanks for coming by looks like gorilla tap todd has also made, made it to the live stream thanks todd for coming by says hello all aaron from double a comics is here what's up aaron and we also got unruly simeon unruly simeon awesome all, always supporting the channel thank you so much unruly and lou says uh sim has a piece of my art by me too okay uh, simeon has a piece of art from lou as well and yep so let's see so we also have we also have so both macy and mila are on the on the chat so that's pretty cool and there we go so let's go ahead and show the second piece this one when i first saw this next piece i was like blown away i had to um had to ask lou about it and it's one of my favorite pieces that he's made well literally every single one is is completely amazing so this next one is a spider-man piece and it is a todd mcfarling inspired spider-man look at this piece art it looks so awesome i i'm still so blown away by this piece here the and lou told me that he did the inking on this one himself and it just looks stunning i just love this i can't wait to put this one in a frame and just put it on the wall gonna be so excited to, to display this piece here but totally stunning piece of work um lou that you just i mean i was just blown away by this thank you so much for for this piece here um yeah so um we're gonna get into the next one but this another stunning piece so out of this box there was two pieces there's the todd mcfarland spider-man and there's also the wonder woman so both amazing pieces of art and yeah you guys need to hit him up on instagram super cool super cool buddy of mine and he is um super talented so let's go ahead and um get into this next box uh yep see what you guys are saying here so slim hey slim thanks for coming by uh slim always is supporting the channel i really appreciate it and yep daniel says that's pretty that's yeah definitely amazing slim says nice uh spider-man artwork straight fire from unruly yes and yeah everybody's uh everybody's liking the art so far lou this is yeah i mean what is not to like that was that was stunning so let's go ahead and get this one there's quite a bit of tape on this one much bigger package on this one so this is also from lou as well i have been wanting to open this package for the longest time i really apologize for not opening this sooner I, i've literally literally had this for quite a while now okay let's go ahead masking tape on here so let me see if i can get through this okay yeah, let's see there's some thick masking tape on here so let me get through this here usually i can edit through these parts with some music but that's the thing about live streams is you have to do it on the fly so let's go ahead and see if that did the job A little bit more. Um, Got to be super careful on these ones here. Okay, I think I did it. Yes, I did. Got it through. So this one, let's go ahead and. Oh man, this there's quite a, a bit of in, 
of things in here. I hope nothing drops out so you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and unbox this. There's uh gotta un unravel that one soon. But this is again, this is also from Lou as well. Um, if you guys haven't checked him out, if you guys are just joining, I put his link in the description. He's a fellow um fellow friend on Instagram, and he did the art pieces. I'll go ahead and show those again in a little bit. So looks like all of these are AOKs from Lou as well. Um, wasn't expecting. So this was the first one, Son of Tomahawk, uh, number 135. Awesome. Looks like a Bronze Age. Bronze Age DC, very cool. I love Bronze Age DC, so that's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and look on this side, yeah. That's better. So Son of Tomahawk. Very cool. Fantastic Four 163. I don't have that. So that's awesome. These are all AOKs from Lou. Oh, man. Uh, Green Lantern. Uh, looks like a giant size. Green Lantern. Very cool. And then X-Men Unlimited. Oh, man. Uh, Atomic Robo. Very cool. And then I've never seen this one. This one looks like a Michael Turner book. Very cool. Thunderbolts. And then Quinn the Raccoon. Thank you so much, Lou, for these. And then looks like we got some Robotech, so it looks like, I don't think I've ever seen these before. It looks like some Robotech comics, those ones there. I'll go ahead, because there's quite a bit in here. I'm gonna try to show as much of this as possible, but these are not, yeah, these were all AOKs. My gosh, thank you so much, Lou. So now we're going into the actual art that, that he provided for me. So the first thing I want to show is going to be, when I saw this one, I had to have it. It is inspired by the Batman Adventures. It's Batman and Catwoman. He did this art and it is absolutely awesome. Um, just super talented. So he got that one. That's definitely going into a frame. Love that. Uh, Batman Adventures type art. So that was super cool. Next one is, when I saw this one, I had to have it as well. This is Captain America. Look at how much detail he did on this Captain America. Just a uh, stunning piece. The shading on it. Love how a side of his face is, he's like in the shadows. Just an awesome Captain America. Look at that. Need to get that into a frame ASAP. So that one's super cool. And the last one, this one is, I mean, this one has to be my all-time favorite because of because of what it is. Amazing Fantasy 15. After, look how stunning that is for the Jack Kirby art. It looks exactly like it does on the actual comic book. And this is sketched on a reprint of Amazing Fantasy 15. And Lou did this. I know it took him a really long time. He mentioned to me that he wanted it to be perfect. And I, I would say this is absolutely perfect. Look at that. So thank you so much, Lou. These were complete. These were, I'm just mind blown on these. I don't even know what to say. So again, check out Lou, guys. He is in the description. He did the Amazing Fantasy 15. And he also did this Captain America. And finally, he did the this piece, which is awesome, Batman and Catwoman. So again, thank you so much, Lou. Those are super awesome. Really, really appreciate those. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so... Uh, Chat went by kind of fast, but I'll try to catch up here. Um, yeah, uh, so Lou's 
in the chat right now, guys. Lou did the art on those pieces and he's in the chat. So if you guys want to check them out or have any questions, feel free. And then let's go ahead. And so I guess you guys are just chatting amongst each other, which is awesome. And yes, he is definitely very talented. So let's go ahead. Oh, you want to see the F15 one more time? So let's go ahead and show everything one more time. So again, Lou got this one here, Batman Adventures, Catwoman, and Batman. And then I got the Captain America. Love that one. And then the, I mean, this is just stunning. I can't wait to put this in a frame, Lou. This is absolutely gorgeous. The buildings came out perfect. And I, I like that we didn't go with the, the word bubbles because I just feel it's perfect just the way it is. So that looks absolutely stunning. Love it. So those are the Amazing Fantasy 15. And then out of the other package, this is the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man that Lou did. Going to put that in a frame too. Look at that. that. Lou, I already mentioned this to you. The inking on this is just so good. So, so good. Love that one. I don't know which one's my favorite. That that Todd McFarlane one's awesome. And the wifey's going to love this, Lou. Um, she's going to be blown away when she sees this. Um, she's going to put this in her office. I know she will. We'll get a picture to you for that. <laughs> Thanks again, Lou. That was awesome. So, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and go into the next boxes. So these, some of these, I have no idea what they are. So we're going to find out what they are together. Um, some of them were eBay purchases, some of them were on Facebook, and some of them were on Instagram, live claim sale from Instagram. So um, let's go ahead. I, I'm pretty sure they're all Silver Age, but I could be wrong, but we'll find out right now. So let me make sure I can get this out of the box. There we go. So I have some more tape here. Try to get through this without cutting the bag. This is tricky when the when the comic is so close to the cardboard, I get really kind of nervous. All right, let me get this side too. Again, thanks for coming by, guys. This was kind of a last minute impromptu live stream. And I know you guys are probably really busy on a Monday, but hey, this is a good way to get away from work and get away from your daily routine on a Monday and just kind of see some cool art and some cool books. Um, I know that cheers, up, cheers me up on a Monday, so that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of tape on here, guys, so bear with me. Oh, okay, I see what it is. This is a super cool book. I've been on um, this character. I've been kind of um, uh, hunting for this character lately, and I'm super excited about this one. Haven't had this one in my collection yet, so now it reminds now it, uh, actually, I can take this off. So I'll just take this off later. So let's go ahead and show the book. This is Fantastic Four Annual number two. And this one is a lower grade copy. I saw this on eBay. Um, picked it up for, I believe, 25 or 30 bucks. It was a really good deal. I know it's a lower grade copy and it is a square bound book. Um, gonna have to check it out after the stream, but I still feel like it presents very well. The colors still pop on it. I've always loved this cover. And I believe this is the origin of Dr. Doom. If I am if I can remember correctly, I believe this is the origin of Dr. Doom. But um, starting to heat up because of the MCU and just anything Dr. Doom covers are very, um, very sought after. So pretty cool book right there. First book is... Fantastic Four Annual Number Two. So pretty nice. I like that one. So Double A says he likes that one too. Thank you. 
And there you go. Yeah, so Lou's sharing some of his information. Yep, you guys check him out. So that's the first key there. So I'll show that again a little bit, but we'll get on to the next box. And just so you guys know, I um, hope you guys can stay till the end because the very last box that I'm going to be unboxing is a pretty big key. It's one of the ones I had on my 2021 want list. And I don't have many books on my want list. If I remember correctly, there's only like, eight books total that I want. And they're all fairly big keys. So this is one of um, the one at the end that I'll be unboxing at the end is one of the biggest ones that I have. So I'm um, super excited about that. Um, let's see, this is quite a bit of tape, so bear with me here. Okay, so let's see, I should do it, yeah. So I don't even remember 100%. So this is the second to last package. So the next package is the last book. But this is something that I got on a live claim sale. I don't even remember what it is. But I remember where I got this book from. I got it on a live claim sale on, um, on Instagram. And if you guys are familiar, he's a comic book store in Southern California, his, uh, the, the comic book uh, channel is called P.Dot Collectibles, and this is what I got. Let me go ahead and show that. It is Journey into Mystery, number 114, and I got this one for $14. So pretty, pretty nice deal there. He slashed the price half off. It was a claim sale. He graded this at a 2.0, which I think is conservative. And it is Journey into Mystery, Thor, number 114. So I love this run of Journey into Mystery. I, I think the, all the covers are absolutely awesome. So there you go. So Journey into Mystery, number 114. Pretty cool. So I got that one for $14, which is a great, um, great price for any of these Silver Age um, Silver Age Journey into Mysteries. If you get them for a pretty good price, that's pretty awesome. So that's that's a pretty good pickup. So let's go ahead and say hi to some of the people in here. Looks like uh, Shop for Comics dropped by. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. And yeah, you guys are just chatting amongst yourselves. So that's pretty awesome. So that gives me some time to get to the last book. So this one, guys, I am super excited about this last one. This one is going to be um, a big one that I check off my list. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this one I got on a, uh, a claim sale on Facebook. So um, left a note there, which is super nice. I know this seller, and he put... This is kind of new. I've never seen this before. This is like wood. So he had these two pieces of thick wood uh, between the comic is between two pieces of thick wood. So this, yeah, definitely protected it. So uh, has some heft to that as well. Has some weight to it. So let's go ahead and take off this tape, and then I'm um, can't wait to show you guys what this is. Um, it's, it's been this book. Once you guys see it, you'll, you'll know that this has been a pretty tough book to find. And this tape is not cooperating too much. So let's just try to get through it as fast as possible. Okay, perfect. So now I'm able to get to the comic. So it's still kind of taped on there. So. He did a great job packaging it so that it doesn't move. I just have to take a little time to get these pieces of tape off. I know the suspense is killing us. Yeah, this tape, I can't just, I have to take it off of the plastic or else it's just going to be a mess. 
just don't want to rip the uh, the bag. So I hope everybody's doing good on a Monday night. Um, I know this was a last minute thing, but I really appreciate you guys coming by. Um, this community has always been awesome. Um, uh, and yeah, and I hope you guys can meet some cool people like Lou, I know he's fairly new to YouTube. He doesn't, uh, he's more active on Instagram. So you guys should definitely check him out. Oh man, this is really stuck to the bag. So this is starting to be a little bit of a nuisance. So um, I don't want to hurt the comic. So what I'm gonna do, I might have to take it out of the bag, guys. Because this one, yeah, okay. So it kind of uh, messed up the bag a little bit, but it's still good. So last one is Silver Surfer number one. I was able to pick this up for a great price on Facebook and I'm super happy to have it. Now that I see it in person, it absolutely looks stunning. Um, lower grade, I would rate this about a 2.0 to a 2.5, but with, as you guys know, a lot of my books that I like to go for, they pop with color. So this one definitely has a, that uh, characteristic where it pops. The colors are super nice on this one. Um, always wanted a copy of this. I have Fantastic 448, but I have not picked up Silver Surfer number one. Waiting for a good price, I was afraid. This was a little bit of fear that I was gonna miss out because prices have been going crazy with this book, but I'm super happy to have it now. Um, the spine looks pretty nice. It's just the biggest issue is, you can barely see it, but the biggest issue is that there is tape here. So that's the only thing that distracts me from the cover a bit, but you can't really tell that much that there's a piece of tape here, but there is. Um, I got this for $200 shipped. So I thought that was a great deal. $200 for Silver Surfer number one at a 2.0 to a 2.5 is, I, I feel like that's still a decent price to get in this book. So super happy to have that one. So um, yeah. Super happy that I was able to add this. This was on my 2021 list, so um, there it is. One of those achieved. So that's everything, guys. I really appreciate you guys coming by. And um, if you guys haven't followed Lou yet, um, I'm going to show some of his art because really that's the main thing I'm, I wanted to share today was uh, Lou's awesome pieces here so one more time he got this as an a-ok -okay for my wife which is super awesome that's going into her office she's gonna love that when she comes home today lou i'll, I'll let her know uh we'll try to get her a reaction on tape if we can <laughs> so thanks again for getting the wifey uh awesome a-ok -okay, wonder woman and next one is todd mcfarland spider-man lou got this uh Lou made this piece for me, which is awesome. Love the inking on that, Lou. That was amazing. So another awesome one there. Of course, we can't we can't go any. That will be my favorite piece. So we can't have a uh, unboxing without Amazing Fantasy in it. So there it is, Amazing Fantasy 15 sketch, sketched on a reprint, AF 15. And Lou signed his name, which is cool. Oh, I love the buildings on there. That looks great. Very nice homage. And then next one, very nice Captain America. Love this one. This one's also going into the uh, a frame. So that would look great as well. So last one we have is going to be DC Batman Adventures um, with Catwoman and Batman. So that's everything, guys. I really appreciate you guys coming by. And um, if you guys are catching on this, uh, this on the rewind, please comment down below which is your favorite piece. I want to, I want to also um, encourage you to uh, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And I will be doing a lot more videos uh, in the near future. I've taken a little break from videos, but I want to be able to make some videos in the near future. 
um, about the market, about some of the display, uh, some of the display ideas that I have, and it's just going to be a lot of good content coming coming soon. So again, I want to um, thank everybody in here. Looks like there was a couple people that came by. Um, uh, Charlie, thanks for coming by. Thanks for yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, that was a super sweet haul. I, I agree. So there we go. So again, I want to thank everybody for coming by. So I want to thank you for joining me here on Comics with Monix. And uh, wanna uh, wanna recommend that you subscribe to my channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.